Welcome to the first, we'll call it pop vlog. I thought because it's the first one and I'm still getting used to it, maybe we'll start on a process that is my favorite. So we're gonna start on trimming. Trimming is by far my favorite process of the whole pottery thing. Um, it's so quick, it's so fun, it's so satisfying. So I thought we'll just jump in and give it a go. We're gonna be making some hanging planters. Now these are gonna be sort of like macrame suspension style. So they're gonna be completely hemispherical. So that means no foot rings and no flat top. They're gonna to be totally domed, which is really, really fun to trim. Well, I'm hoping it's gonna be really, really fun to trim. So let's do it. As for tools that you're going to see me using, I use this uh, cheese grater tool, which is really great for, I think it's actually called a rasp or a surform, um, but this is super duper useful for getting off like a lot of material quite quickly and it just grates it off and then you're left with like gubbins everywhere. And then I've got a few loop tools. Uh, these are all different kind of shapes and sizes. They've all got different silhouettes and things and um, I pretty much only at the minute really use this one and um, it's got a really nice round tool on one end and it's also got quite a relatively straight line but not super straight and it also has really tight corners which are amazing for getting foot rings and things like that. For a final burnish on trimming I tend to use this little rubber kidney it's quite flexy and nice um, and that just smooths out any of the grogs like scratches that are left in the clay and just makes them like nice and shiny so you get a really smooth finish on the piece and that is what I prefer
now that all those bowl shapes are trimmed and smooth and round and lovely, I'm going to start putting the sockets in where the studs will go afterwards. And pretty much to do that, I just use one of the studs that I'm going to use and I'll create an impression and make it a little tiny bit wider so that when the clay shrinks, it will clasp onto it. So that's what we're doing next, I guess. Now that all my pieces are all trimmed up and round and smooth and nice and they've all got their little sockets in ready for studying all they have to do now is dry and wait for the kiln so tea break time and I'll catch up with you next time That's really hot